After Hrothgar departs Heorot with promises of great reward, like a good ring-giver, the Yates settle down for the night. They will be loyal to their captain, but the poet tells us that none of them expect to live through the night. Line 691, none of them expected he would ever see his homeland again or get back to his native place and the people who reared him. Despite their impending doom, when Grendel finally comes, everyone but Beowulf is asleep. Perhaps there is a subtle allusion here to the sleeping disciples in Gethsemane. Could you not watch with me one hour, Jesus says in Matthew 26. When Grendel arrives and finds the hall full of what he thinks are foolish men, the poet says his glee was demonic, picturing the mayhem. Before morning, he would rip life from limb and devour them, feed on their flesh. He grabs the closest Yates and bolts him down, bones and all, and then he reaches for Beowulf. The struggle is epic, shaking steel-banded Heorot to its foundation. Its timbers tremble and its benches break. Notice the numerous references to hands and arms. Hand, claw, taloned, hand grip, hold, fingers. His talon was raised with open claw, a hand grip harder than anything, a firm hold. Fingers were bursting, latching power, and his fingers weakened. The references fill the entire fight. The repetition amplifies the intensity of the struggle, the hand-to-hand combat between monster and man lifting a single wrestling match to the level of cosmological significance. Their death grips shake the foundations of the community because the outcome determines the fate of the Danes. But even more significantly, this battle of brawn symbolizes mankind's ongoing struggle with evil in the world, a struggle that does not cease in this life. Grendel's heart fills with terror as soon as he feels Beowulf's iron grip. His courage, the poet says, depends on certain victory and dark sorcery that enchants his skin against the cutting edge of every weapon. The first hint of defeat dissolves his bravery and his ferocity. He was desperate to flee to his den and hide with the devil's litter. But the end has come for Grendel. Sinews split and the bone lappings burst, and Grendel flees into the night, howling and trailing blood spore from his armless shoulder. Grendel's wound symbolizes his complete defeat. The loss of an arm is the loss of power. It also symbolizes Beowulf's superior strength, especially when he nails Grendel's arm to the wall as a trophy. The Danes and Yates track Grendel's wound slurry to the edge of the marsh, knowing that hell claimed him there, line 851. And so Beowulf, like Christ, has purged the hall, casting its demon oppressor into the outer darkness.